This will be a great video to show people that, you know, this deck sucks. <laughs> I mean... This is, I mean, this is... When I play the, the, the deck, this is literally how it goes. Uh, it's... It's not smooth. I think we're dead. Hello, guys, and welcome. Today we're joined by h -Main himself, the man, the mid legend. How are you doing, brother? Nice to see you. Good, man. Good, man. What's up? I, I'd say h -Main is one of the best frog Drake players out there. If not... The best. Um, also, you might know him by the famous cook who just made all of those undefeated lists. And well, I guess they're undefeated. They go three zero, yeah. But yeah, today uh, <laughs> he's gonna help us play some drug breaks, and I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully, it's gonna go all well. But yeah, yeah. One flesh would have won the game there. It was close. Uh, we needed a second bitter. We actually have it if we did. But... Yeah. I... They always have it though. Oh, rock tricks aren't good, man. I keep telling people. Bro, what? what? <laughs> oh, no. The rock tricks masterclass. It's not going as expected. Yeah. All right. Do another intro. We're gonna start over again. Here. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome today. I'm joined by H Pain, and he's gonna teach us rock tricks. Right. This is the first game we have played. We most definitely did not lost the first game we tried. So let's let's give it a shot. Good, good enough. Good enough. Yeah, that's, good, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Let's go. Um. So I okay, so yeah. Keep everything. Everything. Uh. No, Necro. You don't need. You want to find another activator here, or Gosh. another egg. No, not that. We want the the only activators that are good are um Gale Cult and Untold because they draw you more than they cost, right? So yeah. Uh. Get rid of a uh, bitter endings here. Okay. But yeah. Untold and Skeletal are the two primary with Brood Parasite. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, they just make you go so fast. It's insane. Yeah. Like also, also how fast you go through the deck with Skeletal is kind of naughty. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Made the deck a lot better. His food chain. So. I think always pay right? He can't even clear it. it. Yeah, it's always. He can regress it. But I it guess cares. regress. Yeah, but it's like. That's his whole turn. Fine. Yeah. And then if you regress it, we can scale cult the body. That's still fine. True. We're pretty much scale culting no matter what next turn. Makes sense, makes sense. With board, man. Board looks so nice. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Just rip it here. So... Cut again. Oh my god. So, I mean, I, I, I guess you have to go like this way? No, I mean this way? Um, I think in this matchup, there's actually chances where we're not taking that much damage. So I think I would put Saris away and keep bitter endings. Yeah, I think I would do it this way, only because you can path to death for Saris and you take you you do more damage to yourself. Okay, that's like the main reason. Yeah, uh, but like if, if he ever runs the void hate, do we just insta loss if there's it's no because we're gonna be. We're gonna be like to to ahead on board. Like he doesn't have sleep hate, right? Okay. It, then you would like just canopic sleep, and you would do face damage. So the healing doesn't matter. He's not gonna put pressure on us, is what I'm saying. True. Right? Do we? He's playing. Uh, yeah, we put that out for sure. Because <laughs> we're gonna tap next turn. Um, typically you want to put that on the left side, always. The whelp and the lootable corpse. Oh, okay. They always want to be on the left. Actually, no, the whelp especially, because when you rain it, it'll draw the egg first. Oh, versus okay. uh, yeah, versus I... drawing a card. Yeah, I see it. I see it now. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I never thought about that, but, actually. But you're playing around deer, so I guess it doesn't actually matter. Like, I, I don't know. Like, you could say you played around deer here. Yeah, yeah. I was, but... I, I was playing around <laughs> deer for sure. So I was like, yeah, there's going to be played next turn. So I want to be, want to be careful, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, ideally, when you have sulfuric rain, you kind of just want the whelp on the left side always. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that, but because there was no sulfuric and like there's an option with with a port on there, I was just playing it safe. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, heads up, heads up, play. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this 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 crawling man, this looks so damn nice. Yeah, it's diamond. Yeah, I mean, I like, it's I like. Up. It's five dollars. It's five dollars, man. It's it's pretty cheap. What? I'm pretty sure it's it's there's, there's it's, no 
There's no way it's five dollars. Crawling madness, five bucks. Di diamond? No, I don't think so. It's like it's a sealed card, so it's like probably less than like ten dollars though. Wow, really? I was not expecting that. Oh, it's, it's twelve dollars. Okay, thirteen dollars. Yeah. Okay, I mean, still pretty cheap though. Yeah, it's just yeah, you're just yeah, ripping it's a tap. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Tapping tap. Okay, we got um. It's actually needed. Yeah. We could just rip that later, or we can rip it now if we don't have anything to do. We can just get the Saris back just to be yeah. safe. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he might like what? He might be sitting on dearly because this seems to be control. Or actually, lootable corpses. He's, uh, he's food chain, I think. Yeah, yeah. food chain. Uh, I mean, I guess if he doesn't have like double food chain, uh, we can always just leave the board and stay. Like, okay, never mind. He's not. He's not food chain. I just looked him up. He's not. Yeah, he's playing some control. We we need to get our Saris back ASAP here. Oh really? Are we never afraid? <laughs> oh okay, he he is playing the void here. Okay, okay, makes sense. And he's running through to the cycle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, this is where it makes a difference to look up your opponent's list because like you never know, and it actually gives you a game plan to follow. And now we know it's a little bit scary to have this on the graveyard. Uh, but you did mention it's not over even if this gets like destroyed because we can just apply pressure, right? This is a turn where he can just play it, and we didn't apply any pressure, so... Yeah. I mean, hopefully... He has Deer to the Part and Shine, too, so actually I don't even know what, what the safe line is here. But hopefully we just draw an activator, it just makes it easier. Make them suffer. That's not good. Okay, so when you have like a bad hand like this, you just have to play the Drake and pass here. He has regression and everything, you can't really play around anything, our hand is You just drop bad. this? Yeah, you just drop it and pass. Damn! There's nothing you can do. Yeah, but this okay. is the line. Okay. Because you force him to deal with it. But okay. if he just regresses here, it's also his whole turn. The dead Our hand is very bad. So on this turn, we're purposely playing the Rock Rig, so there's not like a lot of time for him to just like, oh, let me play Void Hit on this turn, remove the service. Well... Our hand was pretty much getting clogged anyway, but we kind of just want to empty it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because there's a lot of cards that we can draw here that'll draw us more cards. True. Ooh, but right next, next turn is just uh, Canopic. I think we're good. Oh, no, he transformed right. Never mind. I'm sorry. We can't do it. Oh, oh the shadow ones and the diamond cards look so similar when on the board. Yeah, it's just the corner. Okay, so we can tap first here. And then we can get rid of our rain and... Yeah. Oh man, this is, this is not good. So like, Siren, get, get, ri get rid of rain and rain? Yeah, I think that's what we have to do here. Just because we need a cycle. Do you ever... No, never mind. No, we don't. We don't have anything here. We're drawing him cards, but... It's probably fine. We just need to draw something else here. Just like one more. We're actually, we're actually one card away from lethal here. Um, one mimic is lethal, or one bitter bitter endings is lethal here. Actually, the top deck bitter endings. He's dead. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I see the line. Yeah, yeah, I for sure see the line. Yeah, one bitter endings lethal. True. Yeah. I'm just gonna pretend that I see it. Um, <laughs> how, how would it work? How does one mimic gives me lethal? So, it's so like, we pat, we pat the death for Saris, which is minus six health. Yeah, we're seventeen. And then you like necro, necro, and uh, bitter endings, bitter endings. Ah, Saris lethal. Oh wait, no, we're short. We're short. Sorry, we need Kenopic first. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we're Kenopic. I think we're one damage off. We're actually one damage off lethal. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Oh no, we have the swash, but we're we're so close. Okay, so do you see how we're what, so if you play if we had the other look at our void real quick. If we yeah. had the other rock drake in our void, we had lethal here. We're actually one short. Four four. But we can go ahead and just play um Um, we can. 
Path of Death to get Ceres this turn, or we can just go. Ken no, we can just go Canopic. Canopic. Just go Canopic. Yeah, Canopic sleep. Uh, sleep frontline. No. This is probably fine. It's a. It's like if we connect any damage here, he's dead. We have lethal. Okay, okay, okay. We need to connect one damage. One damage. Can we mm, basic? I think he's gonna full clear though. Like, yeah, I, but then we have we have to do it again. So he has to do it twice. But one damage is all we need here. He's dead. Like he dragged down here, maybe I guess he can. Uh, is it mana search though? I think maybe it's not. Deer is also good. Oh, deer is also good. Yeah. Oh, uh, he goes. He goes uh, for the card. The bit that which that which feeds us here. Oh, it's gonna be really strong. It's actually just enough to kill it. It dies also. Yeah, it's gonna be like what eight five. Yeah. I guess if if he eats the skeleton, which he has to. Okay, I guess eight six. Bitter endings. If we top deck bitter endings, he's dead. If we top deck, um. And that's just bitter endings is lethal here. That's the only card that gives us lethal. What we want to hit is we just need to connect one damage here. Okay, we're not going to. Yeah. But we get favor though. Oh, we oh, get swashbuckler. Oh, oh. Yeah, but we can't play it because our board's gonna be full. It's really unfortunate. But I think we can get the draw here. It's probably good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we hit the draw, we top deck uh, bitter endings. He's dead. Tap. Alright, bitter endings off the top for lethal. This will be a good video here if we top Bitter deck. endings off the top, let's go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, that, that's I think that's lethal. With flesh mine and and with the uh, swashbuckler, go face? Yes. Hold on. So let's see if we have the health for it. Or the mana. So you, you go Canopic, um, then you get that six damage plus. It, yeah, I think it's lethal. Let's, you want to just go for it? Let's yeah, go for yeah, it. let's so just rip it. Canopic first. Canopic first. Then play uh, Parasite, and you can draw the what, the egg too. It's probably fine. Yeah, and then Necro. At the death for Ceres here. The Necro again. Then bitter endings. Bitter. Oh! oh what are you doing? You ruined the video. That was like <laughs> I ruined. <laughs> you ruined the video. That was it. That was lethal. You ruined the video. You gotta put this in the video. No, I'm ruined. The show. Oh my god. Uh, I'm. <laughs> That was a really good lethal, too. That was a swashbuckler lethal. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm okay, so... just play it out. Just play it out. Just play it out. Just, play it out. just uh, grab grab the Runa site here. <laughs> we can still win. We can still win. This is actually kind of funny, though. I don't know if we can still win. Sacrifice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What is this? We're facing... Oh, yeah, nature again. All right, it should be free. Yeah, it's, I, I just need to not uh, not do anything foolish. I remove part of the death first. Yes, for sure that one first. You don't want that over the line. Yep. And I'm yeah. guessing lootable corpse. It's with. Are you? Are, you, are we first? Uh, first? yes, go um, first. I actually ditch flesh mine here. I think. Okay. Only because. Um, Level turn one, drawing yeah. wise. Because yeah. uh, we we can't play Drake Fleshbind on turn three. Best of luck. It's it's not an option because you have to tap. Yeah, yeah, we won't have enough cards, so it gets laid anyways. Yeah. I just pass here. We don't hit anything. Oh, skill called that for sure. Okay. So, oh, um, um, you, you keep Path of Death here. Yeah, uh, this you can always get Mimic back, yeah. 
Now we just need another activator. There we go, perfect. This is like a, you know, this is a decent start. Okay. It's not the best known Tall Greed's Rock Rake's opener, which I feel like every Rock Rake player always has against me, though. Yeah. So that's them. Yeah, yeah that's so them. Go for it. It's just like we're, Rock Rake, Rock Rake, Fleshman, right? That's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm just get bored here. And we just need to keep drawing. Ugh, this is not good. Mm. I actually, I actually might consider Path of Death for Scale Cold next turn. Because we kind of just want to cycle as quick as possible. And he looks like he might be doing damage to us. Just cycle, but uh, are we just giving... Do we have two Path of Deaths on this list? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're not like giving up on the... Um, friendly Mimic, right? Yeah, but the Mimic is the worst card. The bitter endings are just usually better. Um, of all the combo pieces, Mimic's the most expendable. Okay. Good to know. The Badger gets a hit. And then, okay, perfect lash out. Yeah, that's, that's probably just a tap here, though. Until the next okay. Time. Yeah, it's a... Oh... Mm. Wait, hold on. Path of Death... Necro no, it's just tap. It's just tap here. Okay. It's right. good. Go ahead. That's good. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay. An endangered species. So we need. I think we have lethal in two turns. With one necro, we have lethal. Well, we do have the necro as well. Actually, we could just path the death next turn, and we have lethal the following turn. Um, eight sixteen. But we yeah, cannot we, we cannot discount over the line though. It's still five mana. Yeah, so we path the death next turn, and then we oh, we kill him the following. Oh, turn. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So we path the death for the uh, mimic here, and we kill him the next turn. Let's make them suffer. All right, path the death for mimic. Play the rock trick, and pass. And this should be lethal here. Second pad opens more lines as well, right? Yeah, actually, it's, it's not lethal because we don't have space. I just lied. But <laughs> we'll see here. I mean, if he kills our Rock Drake here, then we have it's lethal. Um, I mean, I don't think he's killing it. And the only reason he would kill it like this, I guess, yeah, I mean, he he might get rid of the card completely. Yeah, he might regress it here, which yeah. is what we want. Yeah. We want him to regress here. True, true, true. Can we get so it typically, done? So typically, you just count Mimic as 10 damage. Oh, okay. And then you count Bitter Endings as 8. And that's how you can count it quicker. Oh, I've, I have no idea how it worked that way. So... Um... What is he doing? Wait, but the, does that... No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so... Doesn't toll? We have... We have lethal here sometimes here. Sometimes. Uh, we're one damage off, it looks like. Oh, no, wait, it's lethal. Okay, it's lethal. Do you see it? I 100% did not see the lethal line here. <laughs> okay, so, so you open with... Um, what's in our void first, actually? It actually might matter here. They're void. void. The our, our void, ours. ours. Oh. Um, oh no, it's not lethal. That's unfortunate. Forget what you've heard. You okay, so just... When you're dead. Oh man, we're so close. I think you go Rain Untold here. Uh, fishing for what, like Siren of a Grave? Siren's lethal, yeah. If we hit Siren, it's, he's dead. Uh, so we're going to... We're going to overdraw one, but I think it's... We have... Whelp is lethal also here. Bitter Endings is also lethal. I see the next step. Okay. So this is the bread and butter combo here. You go for it. You, you can finish this off? Yeah. No. You can finish it off? No, 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 right, no, so no. You tell me. Pip, pip first. Pip first. Pip. Pip, no, pip, 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 pip. pip. <laughs> yeah, pip. Okay, Necro. This is the bread and butter 30 damage combo. Okay. So it's here. It's bitter endings. Uh, bitter endings. When you have 10 health, this is the, the, the combo that you kill most people with. So add on tap. And then... You need 9 or 10 health to do this one. So, Anotep, reduce Mimic. 
then copy your Anotep, then play Anotep, then reduce uh, yeah. their endings. Yeah. Which this should not be longer. confused with over the line in this case. Yeah, then Saris first, Saris first, then bitter endings over the line. But that's the 30 damage combo, we didn't need the rock three for that one. But we had lethal without, see we didn't top deck the bitter endings, we have a uh, pirate of the grave which would have been lethal also. And there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. bread and butter. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win. Uh, it's a dead matchup, so I, I'm assuming it's gonna be dragons somehow, or even a Nubians. But uh, well, I think uh, 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 H Bain is not here, but I'm pretty sure Necronomics is not needed yet, so I'm gonna remove yeah. that. We're just looking for this. I think this is it. This is everything. We keep the hand. Yeah, I think we keep the hand here. This is a really good hand. This okay. is kind of exactly everything you want. So like, yeah, so basically you're incredibly hard molding on for a skill called uh, and on tall grids every time. You need this, you need the cyclers the most out of anything. So we just brute. Set up the skill called next turn. We're going to have a target no matter what happens. Fine. Skill called here. Uh... Okay, I literally have no idea. What are we playing against? Is this guy playing Bomb Dragons or what? Yeah, he just dropped Garen Nestor. Okay, then yeah, we can keep uh, probably the Drake here in this matchup. We can keep the, the Whelp. Okay, so we go and here. Then we can play. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And then we can play the whelp here. Oh, okay, never mind, sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, just play the whelp. With, when we drew the parasite there, it was actually probably worth considering saving our last pip there. But okay. it's probably... Because uh, we could go parasite, scale cult again next turn, but it's probably okay. Well, we can also just go scale cult on this one next this turn anyways, right? Uh, I think we don't want to, because we, we're going to get a... A rock drake from that, regardless. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think we can just go brood pass. Parasite. Yeah, brood pass here, or brood flesh is actually okay too. Okay. Yeah, brood flesh fine. And then just go uh, go face here. Now, this is actually perfect because next turn we're gonna have exactly enough to play the drake with the skill cult. Okay, yeah, you're right. Man, look look how fast we're going through the deck. This is I feel like this is how every matchup goes when I'm playing against it, like double yeah. scale called, freaking double untold, like double flesh band, you're just moving up so fast. Yeah, when you draw well, this is how it goes, but it's not always drawing well. Yeah, I can see it. So yeah, go face with the whelp here. Then trade. And then Do I um, do I don't need Sacrifice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because this always fun. gives rock breaks, and then we can rock break skill call it. Yeah. Honestly, Wait, why I... didn't we? Did we take three damage? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't see it on my screen, but it's okay. Oh yeah. Um. Is yours lagging? Are you lagging too? Because it's just twenty-seven health on mine. No, I am twenty-seven, but I, I was full HP, right? Because we never took damage oh, okay. on this game. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were 24. Okay. Good. So, okay, like this? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Keep Necro here. We're super healthy. And now we just want, like, two Canopic Hoarders, and we should win here. Hmm. Canopic Hoarders are best draw here. Oh, there oh we go. and we get it. Yeah, yeah, just go for it. Double Drake. Go. And just go face here. Brute Drake and yeah, just yeah. go face. Yep. And I think we have lethal next turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's working.
This is where we start the video. We're just gonna have these two last games, and we just say oh, it was wait. a perfect run. Yeah, they just put in the blooper at the end. <laughs> oh, you just put in that that turn, that turn. All right, play this, and then no, 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 the no, 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 <laughs> no. No, that's a good one. You have, you gotta put that out there. I mean, right? no, just that one, that one's gonna be on there. I probably that one's gonna be in the video, but it's not gonna be the only the only thing on the video, right? We... But, but no, no, I think I think you should you should play these two games and then no. literally at the end of at the end of the video you know you have like the little credits slash blooper reel what do you no no, no. I, th I think we do need to include a few losses like maybe not the losses themselves but just like the losting oh, screen uh, losing screen inc include the atlantean one for sure that was oh, a good yeah. Loss. Yeah, yeah yeah i mean it was like a three minute loss so it's good oh my god i mean i i do believe you you did tell me a lot of like the useful things you need to know for this matchup. There's no way. How many dreads do? Yeah, he only has two. It's nothing. But like he gets to trade. Oh wow, he gets a full. Wow, yeah. that was really good. Yeah. That was quite. That was pretty impressive. So, yeah. I think you path a death for Kanopi here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, or we just. Oh no. Okay, or we just rip it. Yeah, just rip it. You did uh, say. Wait. Oh. Is, is this lethal? Oh no, we're one, we're one off. Just go this way? Yeah, same thing. He's dead now. You did say the best draw would be Canopic, and like, before that you say if we just play double Canopic, it's over, and then we just go ahead and draw double Canopic. This makes sense. Yes. Just have to call it out. It's. I think it's a confidence. I think we, we were not uh, showing as much confidence in the previous games. This one actually yeah. made a difference, yeah. We just need to call it what we need. Yeah, that's all. I mean, we're always calling the perfect answer for our opponents, right? We just need to do it the other way around. I think uh, this is it. This is the game. He's dead. I don't think there's any out for him now. But I was shocked that he cleared our board last turn, so I don't know. That was actually pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect. But he cannot do it again. Like, this is still just two, two dreads. God, Moomin Rider's rich. Yeah, everything is gold, man. Gold, Blackfire, Flesh Links. How much are those going for? No, those are pennies. I think those were the sealed cards last last one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think those were the sealed Tide of Fate cards. I think that one was cheap. I was not expecting it. Okay. Showbill yeah. School? Wait, what? Alright. Can you find Lethal here? I'll let you find it. Uh... I mean, uh, so I would go part of the dead for, I need to take damage, so I would go like part of the dead, kind of peak. Part of the kind of peak, take five, I am at 19. Mm, no, wait, how do I even? It's a, it's a trick question, there's no lethal here. <laughs> Okay, right. tap first. Tap first. <laughs> oh, now it's oh, it's actually lethal now. Okay, it's actually <laughs> lethal. He just he just gave you lethal right there. Okay, now it's lethal. Go ahead. That's exactly what we needed. All right, wait, wait, wait. So it's like better than that. Any five drop beep Necronomics, and then I guess we can go bitter endings and go for the combo. Yeah, go for it. It's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> So like any five drop should do the work. Yeah. Oh no, you actually misplayed. There's no way. Is it enough? You're one off. So the the line was to necro first, then because necro and path of deathing necro is six damage. Oh so I think you're, god. I think you're one off here. But it's okay. <laughs> I think you can go bitter endings harvester here and just salvage the win here. Because you can't go for it anymore. You're actually short. You have to go Harvester here. Like right now? Yeah, yeah, you have to go Harvester. And like, just and like, like, trade just, it, trade, trade? Yeah, just play the Harvester and go face. So, you were, you were one health short there. Because you didn't... You could go... You could have went Necro, Path of Death, Necro, and you would have taken one more damage, which would have been perfect for lethal. But we went this route. When you played Path of Death, you only took five damage. You needed to take six damage, which I thought. I thought just getting to ten HP was like good enough. No, because the so 
you're one mana short because when you necro there, you're only going to have five mana. So when you play bitter endings and reduce the bitter endings or over the line, uh, when you reduce the bitter endings there, you're, you're going to be at six health and you only have one mana, so you can't play Saris anymore. Okay. Okay. But if you if you did it the other way, you'd have been one more health lower and you would have had more mana as well. But sure. I think you're still winning here. I didn't really thought about the idea of. Like I'm, I'm just not used to going Necronomics part of the Necronomics. Like if I'm gonna part of the dead, I immediately think of what do I have like already on the void, and not about let me add something to the void and then just get it back immediately. And I guess oh. for Necronomics makes so much sense. Oh, with this deck, you definitely path to death Necro like every time. Yeah, That's typically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can see it now. But it's something I'm not so used to, right? That doesn't well, fully clear, or does it? You still have people here. It doesn't matter. Oh well, it doesn't do anything. Well, I can spot this lethal. <laughs> Got multiple lethals here. <laughs> let me uh, let me showcase this line, the, which I can actually find and see. Yeah. For everyone at home, if you can spot this one, you're probably around my level of gameplay. So there you go. When you have shiny cards and you don't have playing cards, you just have better draws. Ah, uh, okay. I see it now. I see it now. I think maybe uh, HP is throwing on purpose just to give a bad rep to the to the best deck ever. <laughs> Look at the do you see the win rate on ladder of this deck? It's actually just like barely fifty percent. Okay, so all right, over the line, path, uh, rain, and Where's it's second? aggro war. So okay, it's aggro war. Yeah, get rid of the. The corpse here. Best of luck. Okay, this is a matchup to showcase the prowess of Rock. But Rates. you know, but this is this is standard HP and luck right here. You when you have Valkas in the Sanctum against Aggro War. Yeah. It's literally it, it always happens. It's like ninety percent of the time. He's gonna start Skulking Trial Spirit and then he's gonna follow it up with Imp turn two. Yeah. And he's gonna have like ten favor at turn three. Or like turn two. I mean, the, they always have it here. They're yeah. gonna go. No, actually, the worst start for us is the Leviathan Hunter. Uh, okay, that's not that bad. It's okay. We just we just rip it, right? Yeah, we rip it because we're going scale cold next turn, hundred percent of the time. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like this is so slow compared to the other two drops on the deck. But maybe it's me. Uh, that's like the best card in the deck. I think it's like the stickiest card in the deck. You think so? I, I absolutely dislike it so much, but... Oh my god. That's one of my... Like, I can't play Aggro War without that card. Really? Yeah, I can't play it without it. Um... Bitter endings here. Or keep what? bitter endings, I mean. So, so... You have to keep bitter endings here. Hmm. We're probably dead here if we don't draw Siren. This is... Like, if you don't have Siren in your first 10 cards, you're kind of just dead oh and it's like, you hard mulligan for it too so it's like it's just unlucky if you don't have it it's gonna be the worst video ever by the way <laughs> this is the perfect video this is exactly what people want to see what do you mean that we're playing rock tricks and we're getting dumpster this is like this is what the community wants everybody wants to learn and like the games we actually won they were like i'm not gonna say easy but they were pretty straightforward I guess the best game we had, I actually just threw it out of the window though. Yeah. Well, that one has that one's the best one. That yeah. was definitely the best one. I mean, I think that one is going to be like completely on the video. All right, easy turn here. Yeah. Now, like, it's weird that most of my games, I actually just have to go like harvest or land like every time. Pivot out the soul bargain here. Pivot up. You have to draw. Um, which minion? It doesn't matter at all. Yeah. It's just a cycle here. But we need to find Siren. How many cards deep are we? Uh, 13. Yeah, okay. So, hmm. this is pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. So if we don't top deck Siren here, we have to go Canopic next turn and then just try to fight for the board. But he's already on Balka, right? So like... Yeah, so Canopic's probably... I mean, it doesn't matter, like, if they're on Valka, because as long as they don't kill you, you have... Like, I, if he Valka's here, I don't think it's lethal. It is. It is lethal, right? It's 5, 9, 10, 11. And then... 
wait, wait, 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, and then plus 2, that's 14. Okay, he's 2 off. Yeah, like, we it's don't have it all matter. So you just pip out the Kanopic here, and then trade. Pip Kanopic, okay. And then trade. 3-2. 3-2? Uh, yeah. Uh, Still playable. Like, Kyoshi D-Rent just makes us lose on the spot, probably. Our Chieftain's Fury. Our Chieftain's Fury as well, yeah. Everything is losing now, if you think about it. Uh, we're, we're, we're beating a lot. Oh, if he rips that? There's no way he rips that. Oh, oh okay. my gosh. I mean, we could win this now if we top deck Siren. That's yeah, right. yeah, like now Siren is an option, but that's such a weird blind, right? Like, if I was streaming this game, I would, I would, I will say like this guy is sniping because he knows I don't have Siren in my hand. That wasn't even a good line, even if he did have, even if he he knew you had Siren in hand. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, there's no point to rip off a Balka. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like this is just so weird. But what's his hand though? Like, what was his hand like? White fur guard or something? I don't know. Or, um, I don't it, know. No, it has to be face damage because he's not afraid of sleep. So, like, I don't think he has chieftains because in well, you cannot chieftains in bulk on the same turn. But you would have just chieftain right now. So, it has to be like blade of sticks or imp or something like that. I guess. I guess. No, but blade you would have played it. Just blade trade I'm trade. Iron and the game's over here. He has no more fracture either. Okay, we're taking nine. Okay, this is really good. This is really good for us here. Siren off the top. Uh, yeah, play lootable skill cult here. We find Siren. Okay, there we go. Keep Siren. Yep. Siren rain. Um, Siren Fleshbind is actually better here. So, Get rid of Necro. Necro, okay. Fleshbind. Go face. Wow, okay. We have a really good turn next turn, too. <laughs> White Fur Guard is the worst play for us here. What do we have next turn? Like Siren of the Grapes of Floric with Brute Parasite? Yeah, that's the line. And what are we burning with like Siren? Whatever we draw. Because mm -hmm. we need everything else for lethal. Yeah. I think we won. Even if you wipe first here, it's fine. We're still doing the same line. She's gonna trade, right? Yeah. That's not even good. Our line's still the same here. Oh, he trials for an imp. Okay, yeah, same thing. The line's the same. I don't maybe maybe getting rid of over the line was actually good there, because then we draw four cards. Might have been interesting. Mmm over the line. But then if you don't find it, what are you doing? Hmm. We're always finding it. I guess we're drawing, yeah, I guess we're drawing two more. So we're like at four. And have we played on tall greets? Two of them? The dead hunger. So no. I guess it makes sense because two on tall greets, one over, like, yeah. Draw two more and then draw on tall greet and you have little corpse as well and stuff. We're, we're one damage off lethal here if he actually trials for imp and trades here. We're actually one damage off. With a uh, anotep. Serious over the line. Um, so we have exacties if he. If we didn't have a bitter endings, I mean, the second one. So it's like one beater and a hot tip. Discount over the line. I don't know, we need to discount beater. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. There we go. Lethal. You, you just can go straight to over the line here. You don't have to BM him. So you can just go Anotep over the line, Ceres. So you go face. Okay. Beater endings. Anotep. 
But you want to do max damage, you, you reduce bitter here. It's up to you. You want to practice, you know? <laughs> practice the max damage lane. I mean, yeah, let's do it. All right. So it's bitter. And I just go and hot up again. Saris, but yeah. Saris before you anotip. Yeah, yeah. That's the max damage lane. Okay, okay, we got him. Very mediocre. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Look, if you go to my page right now, I'm not even joking. Just go to my GU page. It's my lowest win rate deck. I'm not even I'm not even joking. Look at the, look at my page right now. Let me. I, I'm I'm at it right now. You have sixty nine point point eight percent. Okay, okay, but look at the rest of my decks on there. They're like actually just crazy win rates, right? H pain. So, I mean, it's also the deck you have the biggest amount of games played, but your ramp magic is going nuts, and also the mid range light twenty and two. Hell. Yeah, I told you it's good. Ninety percent win. But yeah, it's no. right now bitter links is it's definitely your lowest win rate deck. Yeah, I was telling people they don't believe me. It's bad. I think it has to do with the meta, like or like just how how aggro every freaking weekly weekend event is. Just like everybody just want to go their games through, so they just cube really fast decks. But again, I'm I'll stand my point in here for tournaments. I think rug rigs make sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So. There's no way you're gonna bring it at your current pace right now. You, you should play for your weekend today. Rock breaks. I just, I just keep going at it. I'm gonna de rank, man. I'm <laughs> even more, even more. I'm a dual dime already. <laughs> but uh, man, this, this was pretty fun. Uh, it was not the run we were expecting, but it was actually hilarious. I, I have to admit, I misplay, um, at least once during these, <laughs> during these games. But it was kind of fun. Um, anything you want to say? Anything you wanna, you wanna? Oh, nothing. Just Follow me on, uh, you know, subscribe to me on YouTube. Yeah, guys. Uh, HPN to you on YouTube. Yeah, remember, HPN is now uploading content to YouTube as well. So make sure to check him out. I'll most definitely have his socials, like YouTube and stuff, on the description of this video. If you want to learn how to pilot drug rigs a little bit more intensively, I know he has at least one video about that there. I I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's going to be everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, that was easy.